Well, Azerbaijan says its troops have begun entering the areas surrounding the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh, which were once home to Armenian separatists. That was before a Russian brokered peace deal ended weeks of bloody fighting, with separatists then giving up much of the territory in return for the deployment of Russian peacekeepers. Well, DW's Emily Sherwin reports from Nagorno-Karabakh. She met with ethnic Armenians facing the painful experience of saying goodbye to their homeland. A prayer for what is lost. Armenians are saying goodbye to the Dadivank Monastery. The house of worship is in one of several regions being handed over to Azerbaijan after a peace deal. Moses Sarkisyan, a priest here, says he can only hope believers will still be able to reach this holy site from Armenia. We know that the negotiations about the road leading here are still ongoing, but we've been assured that the church will remain ours. This road should stay in service. We worship here. Why should we priests leave the church? There's no reason for us to leave. Dadivank Monastery is ancient. It most likely dates from the 9th century. For days, Armenians have been coming here to take a final look. The mood is a mix of grief and defiance. This is a holy place for us. When we drive along this route, we usually always stop here. Now we came to say goodbye. We probably won't be able to come here anymore. I hope this won't be a final farewell to Dadivank Monastery. We will come here again. I know that. We aren't afraid of anyone. Why should we be scared if this is ours? Let the world know that this church is Armenian and will always be Armenian. Russian peacekeepers have been stationed here to guard the monastery. Some of the Armenian visitors bring them sweets to thank them. Already the Dadivank Monastery stands in the landscape like a bastion. The village around it is deserted. For days, many locals in the area have been burning their own houses, leaving only scorched earth behind for Azerbaijan. The owner of this house was already gone when we arrived. The peace deal that Armenia and Azerbaijan signed officially ended the war here in Nagorno-Karabakh, but it's clear that people's anger burns on. In nearby villages, people tell us they're still unsure which areas will ultimately be under Azeri control. For now, Margarita Sakyan is staying with relatives in the village of Virin Khoratak, which will stay Armenian. She says she's waiting to find out the fate of her town. I don't know what to do. My things are there and I'm here. I fought myself and was injured in the last war. I don't want them to take our land. If our house is taken, I'll go and burn it. The mountains of Nagorno-Karabakh may now be peaceful, but many of the ethnic Armenians leaving say they would rather keep fighting than lose so much of their homeland.